sorry, we only got like a quarter inch of rain. I mean, a quarter inch. I mean, close to three tenths. That's <laughs> no, not much. There was some serious rain out there last night, all over the state. Thunderstorms. Yeah. yeah, we heard it rumbling. It looked serious and yeah. threatening. But the 3D print is good, That's so right. still that was away. that was the most important thing. Was don't have a power. It's supposed to handle a power outage. Yeah. I don't want to test it. No. Mom is nervous about the 3D print and what six. We, we are like we started it. Saturday? Sometime this afternoon it'll be finished. Okay. Yep, yeah, yeah. It was a two-day print with both chassis on there, so yeah. Um, yeah, phew. So that's that's good. But yeah. I guess I'll take the morning off from watering plants. But it, it I'll be back at it tomorrow morning if, if it we. If, rain. Yeah, it's just more in the forecast though. Right, makes sense. And we did good with working out in the yard yesterday, which was the plan because it would have been too wet to water to uh, work out there this morning, or at least we would have been getting wet and not liking that. So yeah. all the wet things are heavier. Yeah, and Don said too that um, that spot over there up front on the side, those are bigger saplings, and that requires a blade and not the weed eater. Yeah, no, the string trimmer did pretty good on that stuff. It was just, you know, it can handle the vast majority of it, but that, on the other side of the creek, I don't think I ever really whacked that before, so that stuff is really old. Yeah. And so it's the, you know, at least quarter inch, three eighths, some of it's half inch in diameter, so, you know, we're going to have to we whack that with the blade. Okay. I will uh, definitely have to clean the cat water bowls this morning. Even overnight, they're just filled with um, tree, plant, debris. But, um, yeah, I'll take the morning off from watering plants and be right back at it tomorrow if I have to be. Everybody's doing good. I saw Panther at the front door. He's doing good. Didn't mean to leave this here yesterday, <laughs> but I don't think it was so nice that Stripe was um, trying to lay in that spot. I think Mr. Man is happy that I washed his bed. It smelled like the other cats, probably. I looked out last night and Tux was sound asleep in the bed and Stripe was sound asleep right here. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but you know, hey, if they're gonna get along sometimes, if there's an improvement, I can go with the flow. Morris spent the night in the cat hotel up high. I don't know where Marty went when he came outside. He was inside during the thunder and lightning. He wasn't happy about it at all. He hid in the cardboard box. <laughs> A cat cardboard box. Um, yes, buddy. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Hi, sweet pea. Good boy. Good boy. Well, I did a little more watering than I thought. Um, you know, by the time I cleaned the cat water bowls and um, refilled the, all of the fountains, I, there's not that much more to just water a couple of the big trees because a quarter inch isn't really enough for them. But I didn't water any little stuff. You be good boy. There's my good buddy. Good morning. Hey, sweetie pea, how are you? Hi. There you go. It's possible he didn't um, feed as much as he would have if um, it hadn't been thundering last night. You know, when they thunders, they hide and food becomes less of a priority for him. He looks plenty hungry this morning, which is good to see. <sighs> we are expecting more rain this afternoon, so fingers crossed. Especially if any thunderstorms come after the print finishes. I'm sure Johnny's going to have us start something else, but the two large chassis, the black and the green one. The green one for Wally Says Hi and the black one for Landmine and the weapon for Landmine are the big, big prints. A lot of the other prints are much smaller, so 
these chassis to be um, detailed or uh, backup spares for the competition. Although I think swapping out Wally Says Hi in the middle of competition is a large undertaking. Totally doable, just, you know, it's several steps. It's not super quick. He's got, you know, I guess on Friday one robot to compete and on Saturday two. Landmine is Friday. Hey there, Missy. It's another clean bowl morning. I'm happy you felt comfortable to come out and eat. The one time I came in to see her yesterday, she was hid under the couch, and I think that all had to do with the thunder and lightning. She hears one clap of thunder, and she's just gone. She's just hid. Because most of the time she's in that chair and um, happy, and she'll come out if I let her know I'm in here and all that good stuff. But there's no doing anything with her when there's, uh, you know, thunder and lightning out. She just doesn't like that. Good morning. Good morning. I hear you purring. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. So today's project it mostly involves uh, Johnny's bathroom. We had three light bulbs out and oh my god they're CFLs. I don't know how that happened. So we'll be replacing them with LEDs today. I have been up on the step stool and I'm wiping down all of the paint in here. Up high is easy, down low after yesterday's bending not so much, but actually my back's feeling better. I have the cutest Halloween kitty cat shower curtain coming that I'm going to swap out for Halloween season and um, I want to hang that other shelf over here. So it's all about the blue bathroom today. We're out and about my uh, starting to clean in the bathroom. That was a turtle. You missed him. Um, allowed Don to finish his coffee. At least I think it did. Yeah, I got my mom good. Yeah, I've got the some more work on the walls in there, but I made a first good pass. I t told Don he should use the laser level on the shelf before we install the new light bulbs because otherwise <laughs> it'll be so bright and there he won't be able to see the laser level. Yeah, there's the church coming along. Some guys over there doing something today. Oh, two colors of brick. Yeah, that's good to see. Um, we're headed to Walmart first before I get all hot and sweaty to get the light bulbs. We don't have any spares at the house. Don pulled off one of the ones from our bathroom because we like those so we can get, we have 5,000 Kelvin, 6 watt. He said that or up to 8 watt and 6,500 Kelvin would be fine for that bathroom so we had the Walmart I, I looked in the other day and in comparison to that Target down by the school the Walmart had a much better selection and much better prices so yeah. of course you want them to last but there's no saying that you pay more that they last longer so that's what I like to see even more Legos being put out They mowed um, maybe Friday, and we just weren't on the trail two days in a row because we went to Yates Mill, and then we worked in the yard yesterday. So the wind blew all these leaves down yesterday in that storm, but they have been down the trail and mowed. It's sticky out here. It may be no sun, cloudy, and... Uh, you know, the temp's only in the low 80s, but it's plenty humid to make up for any of those other helps. <laughs> it's not refreshing out here today by any stretch. There's the seeds on the privet. Birds love that stuff and then they spread it everywhere. Yeah. And eight, 90 today. Really nice rat snake. I can see the cream underneath his neck. As I came up the trail, I said it's either a snake or it's a stick I need to throw off to the side. He's nice. Good job, buddy. Try not to scare anybody to death this morning. I sure I'm glad we're not responsible for pulling stilt grass along the trail. Yeah, it's everywhere. I did mention to the town guys that it was bad stuff. Might have hinted that as close as they could get to the edge to trim it would be great. But some of this stuff, you know, they're getting as far as they can with the tractor. 
it's not there's rocks or other things you can't see underneath there and they know because they come through there all the time uh, they'd have to come down the trail with uh, something else and that's probably not happening so today is the first day of school for traditional calendar students here because we have both year-round and traditional for elementary and middle school uh, better utilization of overcrowded classrooms and uh, anyway Michelle's Connor is starting high school at Willow Springs High ninth grade and Ariel is uh, a junior this year she's two years ahead of Connor also at Willow Spring High which is close to their house but does not mean I think Michelle said if they were going to take the bus in the morning to school that it picked them up at 5 30 a.m. so she'll be taking them the school doesn't start until 7 40 so 7 15 something like that no way are those kids getting on the bus getting on the bus at 5 30 not happening yeah she'll be taking them they may come home on the bus on occasion, but they will not be going to school on the bus. Having kids circulate on buses for 90 plus minutes is horrible. Okay. So, I guess, I'm just saying not that not that Ariel eats breakfast. Right. Some of the kids get free breakfast, reduced breakfast, and That's right. they have to be there in time to eat. That's right. Interesting. So that, that's like 30 minutes. Yep. Well, I know at WYMLA they had quite a few kids that received breakfast, but they would have five minutes to eat it. It never worked out that the... Right. Well, I think that's the other thing that wishful thinking is that you know, I deal, well, of course, at 5.30, that's the first stop. Probably the first route that morning is probably on time. Right. It's the one that gets picked up at 7.30 or 6 o'clock or, or, or 6.30 after they've done one route. Those are the ones that are very subject to being late. Yeah, well, one of the things that people always talk about around here is the elementary school kids like to get up early. And they get picked up last, like after 8 a.m. A lot of them. School starts at like 9.15 for them or something. But the high school kids, the teenagers that need and want more sleep, they're getting robbed. So our buses can make three full routes, one for high school, one for middle school, and one for elementary school with the same bus and the same bus driver. And... Uh, it makes sense economically, but it doesn't, it's not good for children's sleep. I told Don I thought the humidity was the worst it's been all year. Pretty, pretty thick but, out here. but up here at the park, we're getting a little bit of a breeze now. Yeah. That feels, I almost felt a hint of cool. I really needed it coming up those hills from the environmental park on the trail was like, oh my God, yeah. it cut it with a knife out here today. Almost choke you, it's so humid. They've been by and uh, scraped the fields for tonight's gameplay. I just love how they leave the trash for the guy that's responsible for all the bathrooms and all the trash cans. It's like, you know, if you're in on the ball field and you're getting it prepped for the night's games, would you not want to uh, make sure the dugouts were clean and any trash that blew onto the ball field was clean too? I don't get it. It's the standard, it's not my job mentality. Don's out on the field picking up a few things. The only problem is there's no way to get out on the backside. You can get out over here though, it's not locked today. So Don's got my shelf up in here. Battery pack for this one instead of, there's just no convenient power outlet, especially at that height. Right. Thank you, Donnie. You're welcome, sweetheart. I put the clip so that it will protect that little thing from getting jerked around. Getting jerked around. Cool. The end of the where the little connector hits the LED strip, that is the very that's the weakest spot, and so light, please. Oh sure. 
that's how much bright you turn on the other yeah like you could see it here now <laughs> i'll get all the fixtures back on yeah. you've done the important hard part thank you you're welcome well, okay. well i can put the, the stuff up there i'm a little taller i um just got the lower wall here to clean. I've wiped down all the wall. Did this in our bathroom a couple months ago and it just circled around to this bathroom. To be clear, you know, it wasn't that dirty to begin with, but walls need wiped down every once in a while. And the light bulbs, you know, there was uh, three out. There was only one in here. Now there's four and they're brighter. So you can see what you're doing. <laughs> and, uh, I've got the shower curtain in the uh, washing machine. Like I said, I got a really cute one coming for Halloween. So I'm not going to put the other one back up as long as the new one comes before Johnny's home this weekend. So JB called. Yeah. Hurricane preparedness. Hurricane preparedness. Dang. I sure hope we don't have none of that wind up here. And just to be clear, I hope he doesn't have any of that wind down there either. But Yeah, well, I think he's going to get something. He's, you know, right off of Cedar Key, right up from Cedar Key, Old Town, uh, Fanning Springs. So if you go look at Cedar Key, which is where they're expecting it to come up, then the next big thing on the uh, Tal uh, Swanee River is um, uh, Fanning Springs. Sure. Is that where you guys went on the tubing when you were down there with Johnny? No, that's the it's the Tuckney. That's a oh. Fort White. So when's it supposed to come on shore? Uh, Tuesday. Oh, so they've moved it up a little. Is it moving? Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday? Uh-huh. Okay. Because I thought my understanding was is we might have some effects of it. Just depends on how west or east it yeah, goes. Yeah, we're maybe Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. Well, let's hope that it um, dissipates and doesn't cause any problems. I did hear Don one time on the phone, do you need me to hop in the car yeah, and come yeah. down there? I'll help you. And I certainly would have uh, endorsed that. Not that you needed sure. my permission, but right. I would have well, gladly could... helped you get ready to go. Yeah, well, I could have been there tomorrow morning sometime. Yeah. All right. Well, I got you one of those fancy egg, cheese, sausage, bacon, broccoli casseroles in the oven. And okay. some leftover London broil from the other day. Obviously, he's hungry. He's eating pork rinds. Mm -hmm. Well, I had some um, ham prosciutto. Yeah, that fancy ham yeah, on uh, mo over wrapped around mozzarella yeah, cheese. Very good. Yeah, we like those. Yeah, One or a couple dozen of those, I'd be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's 7 p.m., but I'm determined I'm going to do some Lego something. Don and I had leftover teriyaki and London broil and that casserole, and it was yummy. And then. Don fell asleep, so I fell asleep. I'm blaming him, that's right. <laughs> so, um, I still haven't decided exactly how to finish off the botanical garden. I really, I swear I'm going to do that, like, really soon. But tonight I want to do something else. <laughs> and uh, let me show you what that's going to be. You're such a good helper. Yes, you are. Um... So there's two different pumpkin houses I'm going to do this fall. One is this two-story house. And in order, it's uh, it's moving. In order to um, do this, there's I'm just trying to get to the cutaway view. There's a lot of filler bricks, a lot of interior bricks to give it that round shape. But I'm really excited to do that. That's what I'm going to work on now. And then there's also this really cute, let me find it. This really cute um, one-story house. This is by Bricker Parker. He's pretty popular on Facebook and other social media. Um, so I had ordered, oh, over the past couple of months, a lot of orange bricks in preparation for Halloween building. And um, most of those bricks that came in are in this bin. So, um, I'm going to fill up this to start. And I was looking at the base and I'm a little concerned that I bought the right bricks for the base. And if I haven't, I need to know that, well, sooner than later. So, let's get this filled with orange bricks that I'm going to be needing for these pumpkin houses. Are you going to help? You're very Halloween appropriate. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You are. You're so cute. You were such, such, such a cute girl, didn't you? 
that should give you some perspective about how big this is going to be um, obviously this is the center and it opens up I'll keep this off to the side this doesn't actually get introduced until step 358 it's just that there is no way I was pulling this stuff out to build another identical one of these I'd like to do them both at the same time well, there's where I'm going to stop for tonight. I don't have any more 4x6 green um, plates. I'm going to have to order some. I need six for this, and I need, uh, I don't know, I have to count them, but a bunch more for the other side that I don't have. But I did good finding a few. I did. I did good finding a few.